Welcome back to the shop, my losers. You guys like yesterday episode, so we back here again. And somebody comment, somebody tell Chow to buy a whole new shop. And I was planning on doing it in this episode, but thank you for whoever commented. You actually, like, kind of um, gave me, not the inspiration, but, like, the... Uh, what do you call it? Like the steam to yeah. to build a shop. So we're getting rid of this one. We're getting rid of this one. We already moved the fence back. So this thing like already moved back. So now what we do, we brought in contractors. They destroy the old fence, build a new one very nicely. And then they just slide it back. So now this smaller, that okay. It honestly too big before. Chad didn't know what he was thinking. But then now we have all this room for playing and activities. But no, we're gonna sell that. We're gonna get the demolish all this and place a big old one just right there. A chow to play in. So that's where we're gonna have a new shop. New tow trucks. We're gonna keep an old one, but we're gonna have probably like one or two new. So things are upgrading. We making big time money. We ready to get going. Speaking of getting going, there's my contractor pulling in right there. He's the one just last week or just the other day finishing up defense. Here he is, pulling in. What is up, my good-looking? Chow, excited to see you. Hello, what's going on? Not much. i just hanging out, uh, waiting for you. You ready to do today? Ready to demolish? 10-4. Yeah, I'm super ready. Okay, yeah, so what's the plan? You gonna get rid of those two and build Chow a big repo shop? That's the plan. That's the plan? And then uh, what do I do? I just pay you in chicken or something? That work? Yeah, that works. Okay, we have a grill out back. We're gonna cook for you and the workers once you're done. Me and my assistant here are gonna go maybe hang out at Walmart, play around in the kids section, check out the new Nerf guns and stuff. Maybe pick up an FS19 game, but when I get back, I feed you chicken and uh, hopefully it's done, okay? Alrighty. I see you later. It looking pretty good. Nice job. You guys finishing up the fence there? We are working on it right now. How come you moved the place down here next to the chicken uh, shop? The concrete and all that wouldn't set right over there. The ground was too lumpy, so over here was the better spot. Okay. It looking pretty good. You got the all the gates. You one, two, three, four, five. That looked good. It, it like a whole warehouse too, and not just repo shop. Okay, can... just like I wanted. Perfect. We'll ship them out, whatever you gotta do. Yeah, what I think is Chow gonna be running my chicken farm here. And so that's gonna how we gonna run our chicken. This part of the warehouse gonna be Chow's chicks. And right now, you know, and not big time and not huge. But that's why I got this, so we can start, you know, investing, making it bigger. This will be like a distribution area. And then this is where we keep our tow truck. Right here, 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 all here. And then perfect. And the fence is getting finished up, and then we can keep them all over there. So, it looking good. Thank you very much. You could just go ahead, uh, head over to the chicken farm, pick out your favorite chicken. My workers will have them cut up real quick for you. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. Take it home to your family. Eat good chicken breast. All right. Thank you very much, Chow. Busy work to do. Bring all over his equipment. Then we're going to buy a brand new tow truck. If you ever need towing, my sir, or you need somebody, you know, you want to get back at one of your workers or something for quitting, I could always repo or something. Or you. Okay, so what we doing now? I'm driving back all my equipment. Got to get all my stuff. Now, there is the... They actually destroy it all. And they leave the fence. And then they figure out that they... There he is. He going. We honk. There we go. Good man. Good man. He helping out good. And then they figure out they can't even play... They can't build it there. So they had to move down here. You know, try to buy more land, of course. Try to spend more money. No big deal. The gate almost shut on me. What the heck? Okay, so what are we doing? We're pulling in. Is that we're gonna do it? Then we back up. Looking good. This is gonna be stall number five. This is where I keep the um, rollback. Perfect. There we go. Very clean. So it more than just repo shop. It's going to be warehouse. We're going to have eggs on all the shelf and we can sell them out. 
you know we have uh organic eggs free range eggs and that way we can price them up really high here's the gate sliding gate very nice but now chow gonna be bringing back all his stuff then i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna get a big old wrecker and then i think i got a repo in info store we're gonna see if we can get to that today if we have time but let me know what you guys think of the new shop is it cool is it hip is it not that cool is it not that hip which i don't know which i'm kind of nervous what are you guys thinking but i think it's be, gonna be close to the ch uh, chow's chick so it's gonna work out real good and the place looked new and modern chow feel more at home and more clean the old one kind of rusty having like moss growing on it and like green stuff so it's not looking that good from the curb like when people drive by they're like what the heck is this now they're like, ooh, look at this. So I think Chow, it's gonna help Chow out a lot. This will be the last time I open this gate right there. Probably they're gonna take down the fence. So somebody's gonna come in and buy that place. And I'm also thinking of like a shop like this. Like the pilot, uh, you know, I was gonna kind of mimic this. Where you can pull in and out both sides. But then, you know, with the chicken farm, with with what we're trying to do as a business. Yeah, I got all my eggs starting to pile. I need to show you. Here, look real quick, guys. It is my JCB, all this. My eggs are starting to pile up. They eating good. Everyone eating, feeding. Look, they all look so happy. He's smiling. Look at them. They're shaking. They're playing. So, chow. Business is going good. It's booming like usual. So, we're going to needing more space for the egg plus the the truck can pull up perfectly then we just put them on like pallet fork fork lift and then we can just you know put them down and in so it, it not too difficult there we go there's this what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get an uber down to carlos's that's where my record is at right now and i show you guys it but i just gotta i'm gonna call an uber on my phone then i be at carlos's here it is, boys. Here is the Western Star HR150. This thing is a beast. Holy cow. Look at all the tires. Duels on each side. Count six on this. Six, 12. Plus two is 14. Then you got the crazy arm back here. The crazy boom. Look at this. It's looking so good. All black in the back. Red in the front. Business in the front. Party in the back. It looking good. The strobes. All these toolboxes is where we keep everything. It all working good. And then supports. We not have this before. But these supports come down. Tires come off. And then it pretty much like a crane at that point. For small, you know, not like crazy things. You hear the interior. Not too flashy. But we go ahead and start her up. We get her going down the road. Down back to the repo shop. Hopefully it can fit in the new doors. There goes the new train. Looking good. Looking good. But here is the truck, boys. We try out the hazard. Oh, look at this. This is clean. Brand new. Western Star HR150. This thing is mean. You know, it's going to be a mean machine. We're going to be getting big time money. Now Chow stepping up in the repo gang. And great gang. No, wait. Game, uh, not gang, child problem pronouncing. So we're going to be having our hooks in the toolboxes. And we're going to be repoing big time stuff. Plus towing. So this is going to be opening up the towing business. We have like an under thing where we can slide it underneath too. We need to pull like a repo like a semi. You drop that down. You can pull it out. The thing are looking pretty good. And the bank just called 30 minutes ago. Actually when I was in the Uber. And they said I have a pretty good repo. That possibly the Western Star could use. It's like a lifted mud truck. Like you see. Uh, Chow try to explain. Um, like Rednecks drive. It like lifted big tire. They go in mud. And the guy not paying his bills. He he got a letter of repossession. And now Chow going to be the one going in. And getting him. And I forgot to tell you guys. We went into Walmart. And I bought a new Nerf gun. So that's working pretty good. But I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to be using this bad boy for our first repo. Look at it pulling in. This place is pretty good. Let's pull in here. But this is how we drive. We pull in like this. We go back up. Here we go. We're going to take star two. I only got one more star. So we can't have too many more trucks. Just kidding. We can always keep pushing them back. Plenty of room back. 
There we go, looking good. Ta-da! There it is, plenty of room, nice and easy. I like this kind of like rock feature in the front, that way not just like a normal tin building. Very clean, we have lights. Lights, these doors are open too, look at this. Okay, so we're pulling out now. We're taking the record, my investigator just told me that he saw the truck and a bunch of other buddies down at the beach. He, my investigator was actually at the beach, he had his day off. And he said, ciao, ciao. We, we found him and stuff, and so it's a 2500 Chevy HD, huge lifted, it, gray, have smokestack in the hood. He said, it's it, it's it. He got the license plate, I double checked it, we're just gonna double check the VIN, everything will be good. But he's saying he with a bunch of buddies, and he, they like, not, it's hard to explain. Once I get down to the beach, I show you. But they kind of off like on the side beach like they aren't where like people are going and stuff so you probably gonna have to go on top of the hill look down on the beach spot them find them and then just kind of uh stake it out and wait for them to either go get something to eat to leave child just gonna have to wait and see this is the only repo of the day but you need to start getting busy maybe he leave go home we have his address and then like you leave it there go to sleep i chat don't know but we're gonna find him Let's go this way, or no. I think, I think my investigator said it was more north. Chad was passing people as we go up the highway here. Would like the north beach. Um, I'm not sure where to go. Okay, we can still see from here. So this is kind of where it separate. From where you can like swim and then up over, like over there. Is where like people do off-roading, take ATV, UTV, like do sand kind of stuff. And like in the water and like up the mountain. Or not the mountain, but like the hills and stuff. Okay, I think this is where you pull in. Come on. Alright, we, we can't get run over by the train. Look both ways. Go, go, go. Okay, how do we get down here? What y'all gonna do? Just leave this right here. Leave it running. We're gonna go here, look. Where it at? So my investigator down there by the volleyball court. And like the concession, like the pier. Just north of the pier. Oh, look at the boat. Okay, so can we look? We're looking. There's tire track. There he is. There he is. He going in the water. Holy cow, he just... He dumped his... I don't know what happened, but it must have, he, he like hit the edge. You can see like it, it's shallow and then it deep. He stranded on the truck. Oh no, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, Chow going to run down there. Then we're going to help him. Chow of idea, Chow of sneaky, sneaky idea. We need to hurry. None of his friends are here. He's swimming out. Thank goodness he didn't get trapped or anything. All right, we need to jump down. Sir, sir, I saw you. Are you okay? I saw you go in the water. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, uh, guess what? I... I am a tow truck driver. I can go back in my tow truck and I can help you. Yeah, can you do that for me? Yeah, I can. I don't even know what you do. You must have been tipsy or something. Let me... Let me see. Okay, we can probably... Holy... Pockets. What we don't want is we don't want the tide to pull it out. Because right now it... Or like... Right now at low tide... And the tide's gonna be coming up here in like a few hours. So let me run back quick. I bring down tow truck. Save your life. Okay. Okay, boys. Well, he, he can't hear me now. Here's Chow's plan. He thinking that I tow truck, right? So what I'm gonna do, somehow get his... Somehow... Okay. I'm gonna convince him that I just towing. Somehow not get him to ride... Oh, this way. Get him... I can't get him to ride with me. Because if he does, then he kind of... There's no way for me to get him out of the tow truck. Because I don't obviously take him back. So I'm going to somehow like get an Uber for him. Or get like a buddy. And then... Hi, child thinking. And then that way I just take it by myself. And he have no idea. Or... Or I just straight up tell him that I repossessing. Oh, once and after I hook it all up and stuff. Then maybe he like not even care about it because he like wrecked the engine. But here we go, we pulling in. He's he's smiley waving to me. 
The tow, the tow boat out there could even hit him. Oh, Chow would be, oh no. That would be a stew of an accident. What are we gonna do? Is put the support down. Got kind of worried about sinking in the sand. Make sure nice and wide support. There we go, nice and easy. Okay, buddy, can you swim? Yeah. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna give you the winch. I'm gonna release it. You swim out there, hook it up. And then I'll winch it in, okay? Got it. Here we go. You can do it, buddy. Nice and easy, swim. Let me know when it hooked. It looking good, nice job. Nice yeah. job. The winch is tight, everything looking good. By the way, this is the first truck. First time I ever used this truck, so hopefully everything go good. Here we go, uh -oh. we're gonna winch it. Here we go, it working. Uh oh. Is it caught on the edge? The drop off? No, I think we good, we good. Might be caught. There we go, boys, we winching him out of the ocean. Yeah, I've never done this before. The first crazy tow, it, tow job. Here we go. We can fast winch it now. It's kind of hard to winch because it like all lifted and stuff. Here, this is what you are. Oh, we sinking in the sand. Not good, not good. Let y'all raise it up here. Here we go. Then we winch. Maybe we can get a better angle. Looking good, looking good. For some, the front tires are all bent up out of shape. Look at that, we're sinking in the sand, the tide is rising. Nice and easy. Here we go, boys, nice and easy. Here we go, okay. I'm just going to make sure everything good in the tow truck before somehow I gotta get it out of here, so just let me do my work, you stay here. Do you think you can pull up there for me? I think I can. I yeah. I got, I got my buddies who bring a trailer. Okay, yeah, I should be able to pull in it light. up. Don't worry. Don't worry about your buddy. Don't worry. I'm gonna take in it back. I, I, I can take it back to my tower shop. Okay? okay. Take it back to my shop. Let me go ahead, straighten up the wheels, make sure everything good. Okay, guys, real quick. We checking the VIN. This is it. This is matching all descriptions. This is the truck. That's the guy. Okay, we fold these up real quick. He looking at it, probably all worried. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Can you go ahead and turn the steering wheel? It locked up. Just, yeah, I if think you, if you can do that for me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, boys, we got it all hooked up. Now, the only problem is we have to get it up here somehow. And it's kind of tough. Okay, sir. What I'm going to do is you are getting repossessed. You have not been paying your loans here. I have paperwork. Here's all the paperwork. Now, Chow is going to repo you, but then I saw and I help you out. But sorry, sir, you have not been paying. Sorry, you having financial problem, but Chow need to repossess. Sorry, uh, you're having a bad day, I know. I'm sorry. Okay, all of it. Well, okay, I'm going to see you later. It. Toodaloo. Don't leave. Toodaloo. Don't leave. Have your friend come pick you up. Chow, sorry, but I'm just doing my work. Wait, Don't let's, leave. Let's go, boys. He not... We just, hopefully his friend don't come back. He seemed like not too mad. And this truck is kind of hard to tow up these hills. It a bit bumpy. Here we go. Come on. This is probably the best route. Come on. Come on. Crank it. Watch the palm tree. Speed. There we go. Nice and easy. We got all the wheels on. Come on, baby. Hopefully the train don't come. That would be terrible. There we go. We make, oh, oh. There we go. We are on the pay. We are on the black top. Everything working good now. Now Chow just need to go back to the shop, and we going to write him up and everything. But thank you guys so much for watching the episode. Please hit the like button, all that good. If you don't like Chow, I don't like you. Toodaloo, and I see you all next one.